Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I made a survey and asked around new players what are the top questions they had when they first started the game or they still have now. I also asked veteran players what uh, do they get asked the most by new players. I'll try to answer these questions as best and simple as I could. So watch the video till the end. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Before I start answering, I gotta send some globs of ectoplasm for two players uh, from my last video. I didn't forget about it. I just got busy with the holidays. I'm sorry. The first winner is uh, Obscene Dream. Congrats. Second winner is Etern. Congrats. Now back to the video and the number one most asked question by uh, new players is I reached level 80 now what should I do? Well to answer this simply you can do whatever you want you have a lot of options the game starts from level 80 you can work on your masteries which are kind of the leveling system after level 80 these masteries can be uh, quality of life features or passive skills across your whole account and all your characters will have them you can make your mounts jump higher or make your character auto loot or ride your sky scale while on combat or even unlock the ability to see certain uh, stealth enemies like the treasure mushroom and speak to special uh, NPCs that have shops they sell valuable loot what you can also do is work on your gear if you just hit level 80 the least thing you can do is uh, gear up your character by full uh, level 80 exotic gear with runes on your armor and sigils on your weapons and get yourself a relic that works on your build don't forget to search up good builds for your character and find out uh, what's the best damage type for it if it's power that means uh, raw damage from skills and auto attacks or it's condition damage that means damage from burning and bleeding for example the cheapest gear you can get from trading post is the uh, named gear with berserker stats but if you want to get more unique stats like the viper stat from path of fire expansion or celestial gear which can cost a lot of gold from trading post you simply just Go to world vs world and talk to this golem and buy your gear from here and choose the stats you want. It'll be a lot cheaper than buying it from trading post. Don't worry about badges of honor, you can get them from achievement point chests. So you probably have enough to buy a whole uh, gear set. And if you don't have enough, you can follow a commander in world vs world. Or do some easy weeklies like this one where you capture 5 of these uh, ruins. Once you get fully exotic gear, you don't even need to work on your ascended gear. You can just get it for free from the wizard's vault. You can get 3 armor pieces and one uh, weapon easily from wizard's vault season and then you can use those four ascended pieces to start yourself on fractals by slotting some agony resistance infusions in them fractals are a type of dungeons that gets harder the more levels you do in them this in itself deserves a whole video now your next goal should be figuring out what spec you like the most and getting the most beneficial masteries for unlocking your spec you should do uh, some pure point trains where you go around with a bunch of people and like get in the hero points challenges on uh, each expansion map or you can go solo and the best way to go solo is uh, to go to path of fire maps they're easy to do unlike uh, heart of thorns ones where they're a lot difficult and if you have end of dragons expansion they're easy too now what you need to do is get the most beneficial masteries finish up all the story and unlock uh, the important waypoints for your main character since you're gonna have to farm metas and wall bosses to level up those important masteries and then you can decide what to do next face legendary or a cool cosmetic learn to play pvp or world vs world uh, get into raids or get your flying mounts you're just free to set your goals from now on now the second most asked question is how to make gold there's actually no secret way to make gold in this game everything you do will net you some profit all you have to do is choose which are the things that are worth doing to get some decent gold without spending a lot of time you can start by doing metas especially the in heart of thorns maps since it'll probably be your first maps anyway when you reach level 80 they're easy and straightforward even for a new player and when you're confused about something just join a commander in the map and follow also a good start the map to farm and it's even good for veteran players is silver Ray you don't even need expansions for this map it's part of the base game what's good about this map is not really the farm itself but the magic find buffs you get when you spend time doing events it'll boost the amount of materials you get from uh, running around following a commander opening chests 
Some other easy ways to make gold is alt parking where you leave your alt characters near a chest location and log in every day to get those chests. I have a video about uh, some of the alt parks I use in this game so check them out. Also turn in volatile magic into gold by buying certain material box items. This is why it's very important for you to do the story and at least get the living world season 3 and season 4. Season 3 is actually good for ascended trinkets as season 4 is actually good for gold. Some of the best uh, farming maps is in uh, season 4. Also one of the ways to get the flying mount sky skill is in the last chapter of living world season 4. Also the uh, roll beater which is the mount that looks like a bike is in the third chapter of the same season. Just know uh, there's an easier way to get the sky scale mount by purchasing the secrets of the Epsecure expansion just so you know. One of my money makers is gathering muscles and jungle plats from Heart of Thorns maps. They drop these items used for crafting and upgrading gear that are worth some profit. So now that we got uh, all the big stuff out of the way, I'm gonna answer some simple ones. And uh, let's start with what mastery I need. There are some of the important masteries. There's, for me, this is uh, the most important mastery in the game. The advanced logistic and the packed commander mastery line. Uh, this lets you auto loot no matter how much you're far away from the target. It's a really important mastery. One of the other important masteries is the glider. You need to finish all of this. I'd say the most important one here is the advanced gliding like you're gonna glide without energy leyline gliding is important if you're doing uh, heart of thorns maps raids isn't that important unless you want to do some raiding most of the third mastery in the mounts like every mounts like for example the most important one is the third one the canyon jump and this lets your raptor for example jump like a lot further the springer the same way high vault let your springer jump high the skimmer i'd say the skimmer is uh, not really that important you only need it if you're doing path of fire maps but it's really fun there's a mastery that you unlock with an achievement in the skimmer mount that lets you use your skimmer mount inside the water there's one important mastery in the End of Dragon's Masteries, this one, Globalization, which lets you uh, buy stuff from this NPC in uh, the Arbor Storm map. This NPC here. It lets you buy these five items every week. And then you can sell them back in the trading post. Or keep them if you're trying to make uh, an Aureen Legendary. Some important masteries too are the buffs or skills for the mounts. These ones, I use them all the time, especially the, this one, Bond of Vigor. Because it let my mount have more energy, my sky scale for example. I can do this. You can also give your mount health for 10 seconds if you want to tank some mobs. You can jump out of your mount while you're on combat if you want. Like this. And glide. Also you can even stealth your mount and heal it. I think these are important. At the end of the day, all the masteries are important in my opinion. I almost have all the masteries except the new ones from Secret of the Obscure and the turtle mount because I didn't bother making a turtle. Now to the next question is uh, should I do the story in order? I don't think you should unless you're really a nerd and love lore and don't want to spoil yourself about the story you can do it in order but there's a useful way to do the story you can do the first chapter in Heart of Thorns to get the glider and then you can do the first chapter in Path of Fire to get the first mount or you can play it a bit and get the Springer mount too. Then you can get back to all the story you didn't do and finish it while having the glider and the mounts. That's a really good way to do it in my opinion. As for Living World Seasons, you need Living World Season 3 to get some uh, ascended trinkets, especially the, the second and the third, you only need these two to get yourself fully ascended trinkets. I have a video for that, look for it, called ascended trinkets, that 
just search up the words and you need live and wall season 4 i think live and wall season 4 is really good you can play it all and at the end of the day you're gonna need all the live and wall seasons especially the third and fourth and uh, the ice brood saga why you're gonna need them because of this achievement season of the dragons which gives you an ascended weapon chest an orin weapon precursor so you can craft an orin legendary weapon a 32 slot bag and a legendary amulet just for free by finishing from this uh, like from season 2 till uh, the ice brood saga these are really important and straightforward achievements you can do to get yourself a free legendary i think mighty teapot finished this in uh, 23 hours yeah in one of his uh, zero to hero videos so right now i'm near the raid lobby because one of the most asked questions is how do i get into raids first of all you're gonna need to train for raids and to do that you can join a, a guild that trains its people for raiding uh, the first raids are uh, easy they're straightforward like you can get into a guild that do them and do them quickly and they're not that hard you just need to learn the mechanics or you can watch videos of people doing them and learn how to do them yourself then like join a raid also you can go to the lfg and to here to the training sometimes people will make squads to train like this guy and yeah that's how and if you want to train your dps for uh, raiding you can get your like build from snow crows and and uh, you can get here into the special forces training area it's here in lion's arch like this is the fractals and this is the special forces training this is a place kind of like a training dummy you spawn your golem here let's spawn a large one you spawn my golem and you can give yourself buffs add boons my fury so this will act like you're in a squad and you're getting boosts and heals most of the time so you can just train your dps here also on the chat you're gonna find your dps kind of like a dps meter for this area that isn't included from arc dps so yeah that's it guys good luck with the raiding if you're trying to get into it i know i need to because i need the the legendary ring from raids so i hope you enjoyed the video i answered a lot of questions and if you have more you can uh, ask me in a comment and i'll try to answer you if this video was useful for you please like it and if you're new to the channel please subscribe that will support me a lot and i'll see you guys next time bye bye